Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, uh, we finally made it to that fire cave. It was literally one room. The entire episode was like one and a half rooms. It, it was it was this room, and up to right here. That's it. It was an extremely lame episode. But we're here and I think this is the boss, so let's take it on. This isn't the boss, we fought these enemies before. I'm on crack! I just realized the moment I saw it in battle. No, we fought these things before. I am on some kind of, like, methamphetamine or something. I don't know. And I also didn't equip any thunder skills. Weapons. That was the word I was looking for. Weapons. Forge my bow. Cannot do it because I do not have enough topaz. Do not have more plutonium cores. Cool. A dead enemy. Uh... Yeah, let's back you out and use you first. Actually, let's just make it rain. Give you an attack buff. And kill this stupid squid. There went most of her mana. Come on, do not. Okay, thank you. I was really concerned there that she was about to die. Oh, come on, how is it still alive? Genesis. I have a lot of fun with this thing, if you hadn't noticed. It missed them, really? I guess she does have a huge actually down thing. Alright, all the dangerous ones are dead. Um... Let's use his turn to give her more MP. Kill the ads. What? 
Oh, she got crit, that's why. I was about to say. Ah. Uh, let's not let that happen. Ow. Ow. What a bunch of dicks. You're right there, Natalie. Take a break if you have to. It might just be a better idea to do that, honestly. Yep. Better idea to do that. Finally. Um. You know what? Just back her out of there. How do these guys feel? Yeah. Seriously, just ow. Okay, res you. It's him out of there. Res her. And now her out of there because this guy's going to die. Yeah. Never seen that attack before. Found treasure of a piece of wood. Hmm. No defecating in the river. Do not drink from it either. That, I mean, makes sense. If any wood would ever defecate in the river, I would never want to drink from it. Aha, I think I have the... I think most of the evil flowers we've seen were actually connected to this big guy here. If we defeat this monster, the jungle should be a lot safer. It smells like rotting flesh. Let's get this over with. Okay, these guys stun, stun flowers. A yellow flower which uses thunder attacks and is good at stunning players. Alright, they're weak to fire. Fire, you say? Um, just back you up. Fire, you say? Fire, you say? Oh, really? You're. Oh, right. I'm making her use that one. That's why. These guys are all dead. Ah, great. I'm gonna need that for the boss fight in a moment. Kill you first. If anything, this is a good way to get our thing going. Oh, that's a weird way of putting that. Gabe, uh, change that. Uh, a, a weird, a good way of building up our limit break gauge. That thing.
you know, I found it really weird. At this point, I could literally say they breathed on me and I died. Like, I can't actually say that because I haven't died to that attack yet, but I could. Bow, Atlantis, may wet targets, boost the power of water skills, may cast Agua Arrow with certain skills. Makes us really weak to ice, but gives us resistance to fire and water. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Hop into this battle real quick. And I say real quick for a reason. That's one ugly plant. New data. Reflexia, a smelly plant monster which uses a variety of poison attacks and can heal itself, summons flowers for support. That's all. Uh, wait, what is it weak to? Wind, ice, and fire. Okay, so we need to use fire primarily. Bye! <laughs> Cheap as hell, I know, but I do not care. Okay. Fire, fire, yeah. Actually, um, resistance to poison. One has any resistance to poison. Resistance to being poisoned, but not an actual resistance to poison. Oh, whoops. I just made a sequence. Uh, wait, they're not enabled when it does that? Wow, that's bad. Oh, wow, that's good, but wow, that's bad. I forgot about that armor. And that's really good because. You know, you could just make one person obscenely strong, like give them all of the buff stuff, and then just give them this armor. Well, I'll have to look at doing that kind of thing in the future. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, I honestly don't know if there's anything good to give to anyone at this point. I don't think I can give anything, like, I don't know how to put this. I don't think there's a better set of equipment for anyone at this point. Always upgrade things. Kill these guys. We're not going to kill these guys. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, I never turned in this quest right. There's a chest right here. Uh, annihilate. Limit break. High chance of instant killing all foes does not work well on bosses. Okay. You've made a shortcut for me? Thanks. Bacon and ham. Another quest right here. Your cat has been upgraded, Nya. Targets all foes, gives morale status to all allies. Oh, nice. Decided to come down here and grab this stuff real quick. I'd already grabbed this before, but you know, resets and all that, eh. NPC helper, yes. Here, take this pet cactus, which I trained especially for you. Mad cactus, may stun targets. Jungle flower and five cactus. All right. Best customer. I never had a chance to eat one of these things before. If I remember correctly, they're extinct now. If I think I remember this guy from a series of games I used to play a long time ago. Oh. I had a pet once that looked like one of these. He was really helpful until I had to eat him. 
had a... Mm. So apparently if you change around your armor and stuff, oh, your party members, it'll actually say different things. I, for some reason, didn't even notice that. Let's try Anna. What does she have to say about these things? The way that eyes are done really makes them look more lifelike. Hey, let me touch that red bonbon looking thing on your head. You think that guy here uses magic to turn himself into a snowman? Hmm, that hat looks retarded. Looks like some sort of ugly hamster thing. Those eyes look. Those, those eyes peer directly into my dark soul. Good talk. All right, now it's time to kill these guys. Just ow. Um, let's swap him out. Give her an attack buff. And I have him running this armor because it's just kind of ridiculous. Perfect. Ah, uh, stupid status effect counting as their turn. Healing plant must kill. Okay, time to die. He not? Yeah, he does. Cool. 20,000 damage. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good setup he has going. And heck, while I, you know, I'm thinking about it anyway. Matt. Okay, it's already up to max. Perfect. test out this new skill of ours and man said let there be light and there was light and it was awesome seems legit another 19,000 damage there I mean they got them all wet for us so this is perfect Twelve thousand, even with that debuff. These guys only have thirteen thousand HP. Yeah, I think this is gonna go well for us. Ah, oh, wait, there was a second wave. I didn't even realize that. Whatever, getting everyone went. Make sure we're up to full health. I don't want to lose out on any... Well, I don't want to waste time, essentially.
Perfect. Oh no, he's poisoned. Oh no, he's, we're all wet, including him. Ah, oh, those things can actually survive. I mean, not for very long, mind you, but... <laughs> I need Matt to take a few more hits. Not quite enough. Um, the leaf turtle and fire. There we go. His limit break is up. Perfect. And now we're ready. I'm gonna have to do a lot of cutting this episode, but opal, sushi, and orange juice. Perfect. Um, yeah. Let's see, increase your attack even further because we need it even further. Um, you can get that. You'll keep being the tank for that. Perfect. So we already talked about their Flesia. A smelly plant monster. Uh, blah blah blah. Level 26. Let's nuke it. He sure felt that one. give him an attack buff because he needs it and use his limit break holy hell <laughs> I can't take the smell anymore I think I'll just hold my breath for the rest of the battle please don't I don't want you to die I kind of need you on the battlefield he missed ah come on uh, I don't want that thing to be on the battlefield anymore, so I'm going to kill it with Genesis. I like how his super effective attack is worth two limit breaks. Horrible plant boss used leaf whip. All right, I'll stop narrating. Oh, oh my, yes. A guaranteed crit? Yes. Ow. <laughs> oh, this is too great. Damn, plants and their healing skills. Didn't realize that was something plants were known for. Keep on wailing on him and remove those buffs because I'm not having any part of that right now. Ow, you'd be dead. I'll never protect the environment ever again. Screw the rainforests. Okay. Okay, uh, let's try to kill all the ads.
Wow. Even Humor doesn't actually heal. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is ridiculous. Fire truck! Okay. Um. Heal you. Well, res you, I should say. And. Yeah, let's do that. Not sure what that was. I ate it without looking. Okay, um... Attack you. And attack everyone. Res you. Have you not let them heal? Wow, he's actually evading tax. Cool. Let's give him a boost. Matt, you're almost ready for another one. And you won't need it. I'm... When I activate his limit break, it'll probably be enough to kill the entire enemy team. And it won't be that much, but man, will it hurt them. Rez... Uh, actually. Targeting you. Limit break. Reflexia. Take that, you nasty plant thing. Maybe we can finally get some fresh air. And I was wrong. It was enough to kill the entire enemy team. Yep, that's it. 150,000 experience, 47,000 gold, 5,700 AP. Man, that was ridiculous. Extreme Gardener. This armor is crazy. So long as you don't wear it in a place that you're we like super weak against everything, it's great. It's the ocean. What a pleasant change of scenery. Whoa, it's huge. I've never seen this much water before. Hey, we're almost at the final town. I think I see it over there along the beach. Our adventure is nearing its climax. I'm excited. Hamburger, candy cane, and lollipop. We don't have a gold key, so we can't get whatever is behind there. Opal, geode, and dark rune. Bubble stone, seashell, coral clip, a water-resistant hair clip. Orange juice, amethyst, and satin. Topaz, ruby, and emerald. The sign says not to jump, but it's very tempting. This looks like an awesome diving spot. Should I film in case something happens? So even if you die, you can end up on YouTube and I can get more subscribers? Sounds like a plan! You're totally a nice guy doing that for me. Mm, sure. The Lance, nice guy. Alright, uh... Ahoy, matey! The Saba would be great for conducting our sweet trade. Rumors claim the fabled stepladder be hidden in this here town. Arg, I came here to look for booty, but some shark bait stole my shovel. The shovel. This item doesn't actually do anything, but maybe someday? Shovel? I... I... Why did I say shovel? Coffee! That's what I meant to say. Garlic and milk. What are these guys weak against? Uh... Let's use his term. He's too overpowered. These guys are sand slimes. Level 27, a weak enemy that can use simple water attacks. You know what? We're not going to fight them as is. Boom. 
He really missed. Turtle slime. Yeah, we have two new enemy types here. We have the Mad Cactus, an angry cactus which uses poison and earth attacks, has low evade. So, wait, has low of what? What do you mean has low evade? It has the same evade as the sand slimes and higher evade than the big sand slot. Okay, sure, a lot of BS, just just BS. <laughs> Okay, uh, ice, earth, wind, and fire. Big sand slime, a huge version of the sand slime, uses water and earth attacks, has low evade. Some of the sand slimes. Oh, okay, so they're all low evade, that's why. I guess. Wait, this weapon. Boost the power. Oh, it's water skills, that's why. In a minute, I'll give Matt a better water skill. I should probably heal us up. Got dirt in my mouth and eyes. Blech. I guess I kill the ads first. This battle's getting annoying. Not enough. You know what? Who cares? See, doesn't matter. Because now everyone's gonna be full health. Oh, he's stunned, that's why. And you're dead. Dirt Ball, Mercury, and Rainbow Gems. Okay. So guys, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. I hope this is a good length episode. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short. I'm not positive, of course, because uh, not only will this episode be cut up a bit because I did a bit of traveling, but uh, I forgot the time. So between episodes, I will teach Matt a water skill and... Uh, Everything will be good, like an advanced water skill, not that basic one he starts with. Either way, I'll see you all next time.